To connect the cassette deck output to the audio interface input, plug the RCA ends of the cable into the left and right outputs of the cassette deck. Then plug the quarter inch connections into inputs 1 and 2 of the interface. Raise the volume on both channels equally. Insert your cassette into the machine. Always make sure the cassette is rewound. Now we need to make sure that we have sufficient input volume. Play the cassette. Once you've opened Audacity and chosen where to save your project, you need to create an audio track. Under the Tracks menu, choose Add New Stereo Track. Click the input meter bar to double check your input volume and adjust accordingly. Once you're happy with your input volume, rewind your cassette back to the beginning. In Audacity, hit the record button and play your cassette. When you've played through each side of the cassette, you'll be able to see each individual track in Audacity. It's a good idea to clean up the beginning and ending of your audio file. Select the appropriate amount to cut and hit delete. It's also recommended that you fade the beginning and ending of your audio file. Select the envelope tool, click on the blue line to add a point, and drag that line down until you have a sufficient fade. Now it's time to export your transfer. The easiest way to separate the individual tracks is by creating labels. Under the Edit menu, click Add Label to Selection to create your first label. Name it and continue to the next song until you've made your way through your entire transfer. Once you're finished creating all of your labels, we need to export. Under the File menu, select Export Multiple. Decide where you'd like to save your songs and the audio file type. Make sure you're splitting the files based on labels, and it's always a good idea to number the exported songs. At this point, you can decide to rename the tracks or add any additional information about the songs. That's it. You're done. Happy listening.